This video is I stuccoed the foundation, I redid it, it was falling apart, and then I painted it. So now I'm going to show you how I did it. Today's job is we have these old windows in here. We're going to take these windows out first. That's going to be the first thing. And then we're going to plaster this whole thing up right here. That's another window. And we got to block that one up. We got the dryer vent coming over. And we're going to fix this whole wall. So we got the window in just like a dentist. We're going over this whole thing here. And if anything is loose, we're getting it off. It ain't loose. That's how we're going to leave it. See? One time, what they did is they wired this whole thing. You can see the steel nails are still in there. They rot away and it falls up. Sometimes you have to use a uh, wire, but I don't. Unless I have to. That's what we're doing. Then we'll wash it all off, paint it with Portland. And we're ready. I'm getting into here. A little extra chipping. It's still pretty solid though. As long as it's solid, you're good. It's when it's not solid, that's when you gotta worry. It's all solid. So I'm not worried about this at all. I'm gonna paint it with Portland. I'm gonna chip it enough where I can get in there. Like that. It's all good. All good in here. Wash it off. We don't have a hose. I'm going to make a slurry paint, which is an old school bonding agent. All the old timers use it. I'm using straight Portland. And I'm going to add a little water first. Because I'm going to make a paint out of it. And because it's a slurry, I'll add some of this. A lot of times I don't use it. But in a case like this, I'll add a little bit. Say uh, one third to the water, and then I'm going to add my Portland like that. I'm going to make this into a paint. See that? Well, sometimes I don't add the glue, but in this case, I am. So that's it. I am making a paint. That's what I'm going to use for my bonding agent. Now this is the mix I'm going to use. I am going to use one full bucket of mason sand. That's just mason sand. That's what we call that. And I got a quarter bucket of Portland and a quarter bucket of just masonry cement type S. I put them in the bucket. And then I add the bucket, yep. And then I go down to the concrete company. This is just fiberglass. Really don't have to do this for the last coat, but I don't, I like to use it. Mix it up dry first, like this. We mix it up, that fiberglass kind of spreads around in there. Just add the water, mix it up. simple. You want it to stick. You got to paint it with the port. Wet it first and then paint it with the Portland. Make sure you get in all those grooves. And then plaster right over. And that's it. Just like that. Whatever it takes to get in there. That's what we're going to do. Right over the top of that. That's it. 
bring in our broom. We're going to scratch it. That's our first coat. So what I'm doing is I'm putting a first coat on. So I have to build this out naturally. Then when I come to put my second coat on, it's going to be all dry. Now I'm going to let it dry here for maybe a week or two weeks. I don't know. I got other work to do on this house. So I paint it with the Portland like that. I know it's going to stick. When I paint it with the Portland. I know it's going to stick. And then I got my cement. That's pretty hard. See that? It's going to stay in there. I got some fibers in it. That's what I want. I want to get the base coat on this so when I do my final stucco, it's all ready to go in. Now, if it was any softer than that, it'll be falling down. I don't want that. So I'm building it out. That's my plan. Build it out. And the same thing here. So if I wanted to do this all in one day, maybe. But uh, I'd have to use cement doll for the whole thing. I don't want to do that. I'm going to use this uh, I'm going to use this uh, regular cement. Painting it with Portland. That's the old school bonding agent. Never had a problem. See that? That's all ready to put my hard cement right in there see that and it sticks same thing here get it in there first just build it out It's all built out. And then I'm gonna come put my final coat on. I'm not messing with it that much. You see? Get down in here a little bit. Like that I don't want to play with it too much. Just so I can get it ready. Scratch it. Then wait for my final coat. Let me fix this up a little bit. Good enough. So that's it. Got my first coat on. Scratched it with the broom. Gonna let that set for a while, a few days at least. Come back and plaster right over it. Well, let's look what's going on. It's about three days later. The windows are in all the way down so now I'm going to put a coat of plaster on here. Now this is wet. I'm going to start plastering. Just like that. Getting our water and our sponge and wringing it out. Now this is traditional cement. So we're doing traditional cement, which I like much more than that stuff they're giving you now. I don't know, they don't they don't make it strong enough sometimes. I know this works. So I'm just gonna give it the Thing. I think we're going to paint this whole thing. If we do, we're going to have to wait. You can go over this and do it perfect, but it all depends on how much money and time you want to spend into it. Well, 
we plastered the whole thing or parged it. Now we're getting in here. I'm gonna match this all up with just a sponge and water. Now the last step of this is we're painting the foundation. Because that was, that was the objective, is to fix everything up and then paint it so everything matches. Finally, a couple days later, I'm just getting some topsoil filling in along the bottom. 